Hello everyone, this is Lori Anderson, contributor with FreedomOutPost.com and with ResurrectTheRepublic.com. I would like to thank Anonymous47258 for sharing this video with me. He exposes the Young Turks as being liars and the propaganda. So without further ado, I'm going to play this video and then I'm going to back up and prove it even further that the Young Turks have either A, read too many teleprompters, B, refused to research, or C, have been paid off and sold out to the people. Either way, it is extremely important that we, the people, call these individuals out on what they're doing because they are the problem. Hey guys, what's up? I've got some breaking news here for the gold mine in Oregon. Uh, they still need people there. Uh, you might have seen videos like this from the Young Turks. Should be the Young Jerks. Maybe the Hershey Squirts. But they're a huge disinformation uh, media outlet. Um, everything they said in this video is a lie. Things like this. They figure this uh, administrative problem out. He actually called on militia members to come to his assistance like they did at the Bundy Ranch near Las Vegas last year. Only now it's kind of a problem and he's saying, please, you guys, please just go away. When really the owner said this. Do you believe the reason BLM did not come in was because of the Oath Keeper president and three percenter presence? I'm absolutely positive that the BLM hasn't destroyed my property because it has been protected as have been my rights by a group of folks. Have you had any concerns about the way they've been running the operation, the security operation? No, sir. Do you have any concerns that they need to be leave or you want them here? They came at my request. I requested their presence. I still request their presence until such time as I achieve my due process. Now that we cleared that up and got that out of the way, I need your help to get this video out. They're doing a huge protest and rally at the BLM office in Oregon on Biddle in Medford. So if you're in Oregon and you can make it over to that office, please get out there, wave, wave a flag. It's Thursday at noon on the 23rd. Make your voices heard. Um, the BLM is a bunch of scumbags and we need to let them know we're not going to allow them to do this to our people and our citizens. We need to stand together united as one. That's how we win the battles around here. Your First Amendment right is so powerful and when you back it up with the Second Amendment, you can stop tyranny. And we need to get, get behind Rick and the owner of the gold mine and uh, we need to help them out. So again, share this video, get it viral so people know. The 23rd on Thursday in Biddle and Medford, the BLM office, huge rally going on there. Oath Keepers need your help, Three Percenters need your help, and we need your help. Without we the people, nothing can change. You guys, this is Blaine Cooper. Get this video out. I'm out. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. Okay, so as you can see, Anonymous 47258 and Blaine Cooper, kudos to you for doing such a wonderful job of getting this information out there. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to show you all that this rally to support the miners is very much active. And I'm going to also show you that the Oath Keepers is still calling for help for the miners. And I will play that now. Hello, this is Brandon Rapola. I'm out here in Josephine County with Oath Keepers. I'm the community preparedness team for the state of Oregon team leader. Uh, I'm right now asking to call, still maintain a call to action for personnel to get out here. We not only need security element, we need medical, we can need continuation of comms. We need uh, civilians who uh, uh, can just hit assist in the exterior uh, elements that are operating and then also security elements that can assist in the interior uh, security of the mine. Um, if you're not able to physically come out here, please go to Oath Keepers Joko website and there you can donate uh, uh, 
items. You can also donate money. There's a PayPal account. There is a mailing address to donate goods. And also at that website, it's going to keep you updated as far as what's happening in our situation. Uh, but please, if you're not able to physically come out here, get to that website and you'll be able to uh, email. And if you're not sure exactly what to give, it's going to have a list of items. Still not sure you can email the logistics. And from that point, they'll assist you and, and tell you what we need. If we still need a continuation physical support of people coming out here and any element you can you can provide and also monetary uh, support if you can't get out here. So please, thank you. And once again, this is Brandon Rapola out of Josephine County. All right, so as you can see, they're still calling for support. The rally to support the miners on the official oathkeepers.org site as of April 21st, 2015. It states that the owners of the Sugar Pine Mine have called for a rally of support for not only themselves, but all miners. It is important that everyone who can show up for the rally does so. For the bigger the response, the better the likelihood of a peaceful, just, and lawful solution to this matter. The BLM has a history of running roughshod over the miners, ranchers, and farmers' constitutional rights. It is time to stand up for all the rights of the miners and other under the thumb of the BLM. Come to the rally, show your support for these miners, and see they get their constitutionally protected rights secured. Shorty Dawk Dawkins, Associate Editor. When is it going to happen? It's going to happen tomorrow, Thursday, April 23rd at 12 o'clock noon. Where? It's going to be held at the BLM office, 3040 Biddle Road, Medford, Oregon. The miners will arrive to serve papers to the BLM in their ongoing attempt to find a legal resolution to the matter. Mine spokesman Kirby Jackson said all the miners are now calling for peaceful protests at local Oregon Bureau of Land Management offices around Oregon on Thursday. Jackson said the owners were meeting with their attorney on Monday. Quote, we are calling on all miners, loggers, farmers, ranchers, and freedom lovers everywhere who are tired of government abuse to tell the BLM that they are sick to death of the way that they have been conducting themselves. Unquote. The Sugar Pine Mine website said. So I'm going to go to the Sugar Pine Mine website. You can find that at OathkeepersJoeCo.com. I will leave all links below the YouTube video for you to be able to access. As you can see, the rally to the support the miners is still going on. The reason Young Turks would be promoting for people not to come BLM does not want mass protests. They do not want mass attention to this. And this is why we join together in the fight for truth across this nation, whether it be via YouTube, whether it be via articles. We have to get the truth out there and stop these propagandists from lying and twisting the truth to the people so that we can stand for each other. So as you can see, the Sugar Pine Mine Support Rally is being held April 23rd, 2015 at 12 noon. They are still calling for an action alert as of yesterday. At the request of the Sugar Pine Mine Claim Owners, Oath Keepers of Josephine County mission is to ensure the mining claim owners, their Fifth Amendment constitutional right to due process is not violated by the Bureau of Land Management. People, rules do not ever trump our constitutional rights. There are unalienable rights. There are God-given rights. Our, our Bill of Rights does not grant us these rights. It just confirms them. Notice, this is not a standoff with the BLM. We are not promoting any confrontation with the BLM. This is a security operation for the protection of constitutional rights. If you have a different agenda outside the above peaceful mission statement, we do not need your assistance. Please do not make any type of threatening phone calls to local BLM or USFS as it undermines our mission, professionalism, and is unwarranted. Thank you very much. If you do intend on going there for security, to help cook, or whatever the case may be, and actually at the mine, you do not go straight to the mine. You will be turned back if you go straight to the mine. The staging area will be your first step, as you can see. The contacts, if you have any um, questions or concerns, 
uh, about where you need to show up at, where the staging areas are, you need to contact either Joseph Rice, Bruce McFarland, Mary Emrick, Clinton Chard, or Doug Burrell. This is all in the link. Personnel request. They are still requesting personnel. They are requesting 12 and 2 hour notice of your arrival so the staging site will be prepared to receive you and in process you. Please plan your arrival between 8 a.m. and 1900. 1900 for those who do not know military time is 7 p.m. Personal, personnel requested and requirements. They're looking for security and tactical, medical, communications, logistics, personnel equipment, camp cooks. Okay, they also, as of April the 16th, 2015, have a new staging area. So, as you can see, you need to get a hold of these individuals to make sure everything is set up properly. It needs to be done in an orderly fashion. However, as purely proven, Young Turks has been busted in their lies and exposed. So, let's join together as Americans, as people who believe in our right to our property without being having personal property and our rights stolen away from us. BLM does not have that authority and they know they do not have that authority. But this gentleman wants his Fifth Amendment, his constitutional right to due process, and he deserves that. Anybody deserves that. So if you're in Oregon, Please join in the protest tomorrow. If you're not far from there or you're you're in a in a connecting state and and you have the ability, get to the protests. If you don't have the ability, please share these videos, get these out to the people so that the people know the truth and are not fed the propaganda by the lying whether it be mainstream media or whether it be young Turks. It doesn't matter. I don't accept the excuse that they were just reading off a teleprompter. That's not an excuse. You research. In journalism, you research. And if you haven't done your research, you shouldn't open your mouth. Thank you very much. God bless you and help to spread this word. Thank you again one more time to Blaine Cooper for covering this and Anonymous47258 for sharing this. All links will be in the video below. You have a great day.